10 jobs in various phases of our summer program. Yeah, and what does he do last summer, you know? Um, I used to hang out on 73rd Street with them uh, coffee and them guys, you know, Pat oh, yeah, and yeah, I know them. the rest of them. Once in a while, Joe my elder used to come around, you know, and my sister and Paul, we all used to go down there. But we're better off working here and now, you know, because you get more paid, much better. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, you know? And then at the end of the week, they give you about 36, right? Oh, yeah, about 36. Yeah, that's a, that's a, you like the paint around here? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the paint, the best thing, you I, know, I, you get your hands I'm, on full of paint. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, and then you sometimes you throw a little paint. You know, I used to start throwing paint on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> I used to paint my, I, I painted my room, came out pretty lousy. <laughs> <laughs> summer I was asked to work at Holyrood Church and they had told me we were going to open a community center which we would work with teenagers and young children. So I always have been interested in working with young people so I decided to look into the job. And it turned out that I was employed by Art Medina who was the director of the evening program to work with a group of teenagers five nights a week. And part of my job was to attend dances, take tickets at the door, to supervise pool tournaments and take the kids to gymnasiums on certain nights of the week, referee basketball games, and to keep the lounge program, which was run mostly during the week, in smooth order. We went to Bear Mountain on a field trip uh, where the kids were able to do just about anything they wanted for the whole day. We went swimming or ice skating or played basketball or football or uh, anything else that was available at that time at Bam Mountain. Well, let me tell you, um, <coughs> uh, me and Wally and Hector, you know, we went rowboating. Yeah. And then, um, like, we were over there, and then we heard Edna, uh, Jerry, and Linda Walsh, you know, they were, we heard them yelling, so we rode over to them, and they couldn't get it, and they couldn't get out of the, oh, the lake. Why? Because you know they didn't have, they didn't know how to row, <laughs> so we hooked that's, that's up we hooked good. up we hooked up screaming? our boat to theirs. Wait, were they screaming? Were they yeah, they were screaming to us. All right, you rode over to them. And then we rode boat with you. Uh, mm-hmm. Me, Hector, and Wally. Right. And we rode over to them, and then um, we hooked our boat up to theirs, and you know we were rowing around, and then the the man came over to us, you know, with the motorboat. Yeah. And he, he break and, city. No. And then um, he bring us in, and uh, <laughs> he bring you in. Yeah. <laughs> And he bring us all in. To wait, uh, then Jerry, Jerry, you know, the inside Jerry's boat, it was all wet, and Jerry had to start bailing it out. You know, <laughs> yeah, I don't with a bucket. Poor Jerry, the boat. <laughs> so, so then we had to go up to Art, and, you know, explain to him what happened. What did he say? 
you know, he's talking about you shouldn't, you shouldn't be hooking up, you know. Because yeah, on, on, on the wall there's regulations about, you know, yeah, but you, what uh, to do. Yeah. What, what are the boys should have got out there, bro? You should have taken the girl from your boy. What are the girls? No, you can't switch. You're not allowed to switch boats. You know, they have regulations on the yeah. wall. Well, you had a rope? Uh, that's how you did it, huh? Yeah, there's a rope in the back of the boat. Uh, you hook up. Who tied it? Uh, you? Or, uh, yeah. And then, you know, we used to stick our feet in the, in the water. Yeah. Who was doing all the rowing? Mostly Wally. And what about the girls? They didn't do anything. No, they were just laying back. You should put Jerry to row. It would have been healthy for her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you know, the water was nice in there. Uh, like it was kind of cold. I'll be a mountain. No, the water was all right. It's just that uh, when you come out, it's cold. It was all kind of yeah. cold. A lot of people were up there when swimming. George Washington Bridge, and we do walk into the water. Always be sunshine, may there always be blue sky, may there always be mama, may there always be me. Even as the summer program was ending, Father Holt and I were seeking ways not only to continue the work that was being done, but to expand into a more comprehensive program of community service. So that soon after the opening of school, the foundation that was laid in the 1965 summer program of the Holyrood Project was already being built upon. The young people from our neighborhood youth corps program were gathered again into a work project to paint, repair, refurbish a, an abandoned candy store in the heart of our Spanish-speaking community as a center for the future operations of the Holy Root Community Service Project. You have nothing else better to do? No. What would you do if you weren't working? Walk around, ride my bike maybe, see my girlfriend. How come you're not doing it now? Because I'm working. So in other words, you're working to... Well, how come you're working though? For, well, how come you want the money? For uh, Christmas. And is all of you? Oh, to go to the movies, ice skating, something like that. So why don't you ask your mother to give it to you? Because I don't want it. I don't like it. 
You have any brothers or sisters that got to pay for? Yeah. Your mother got to give the money to them? Also, you want to be independent, right? You want to uh -huh. make the money by yourself? Right. Yep. The Holy Root Project has allowed the Holy Root Episcopal Church to conceive of its ministry in a far greater, in a far deeper, in a far broader involvement into the community, its problems, and its needs. Washington Heights, like many communities, is undergoing change. Project Summer 65 has pointed the way for Holy Root Church to discover new life within itself by serving more fully the neighborhood around it. Oh, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. Well, gates to the city, hallelujah. When I get to heaven, gonna sing and shout. Twelve gates to the city, hallelujah. Ain't nobody there gonna put me out. Twelve gates to the city, hallelujah. Oh, what a beautiful city, oh, what a beautiful city, 12 gates to the city, hallelujah.